Some people are claiming that the Help Not Harm bill is anti-trans. It's not. The proof is quite clear. This bill does not in any way limit a legal adult from choosing to change their body and weigh the consequences of that decision. A minor simply does not have the maturity to do so. Furthermore, this bill does not prohibit a minor from social transitioning. Let's be clear about what this bill does do. It grants time to minors before they make an irreversible choice. Accepted science has determined that the human brain does not fully develop until around the age of 25. Before the brain develops during the adolescent stage, choices are made with the emotional part of the brain versus the rational part, which measures long-term consequences in decision-making. Due to this science, there are many decisions that children under 18 are not allowed to make. Joining the military, uh, drinking alcohol and gambling are just, a, just to name a few. Uh, these are all illegal to minors since they have long-term consequences. Given the emotional process of juvenile decision-making, they can often fall victim to the peer pressure and outside opinions. With social media and the internet, advice and personal anecdotes are shared at a rapid pace. A developing mind may not be able to decipher between the thoughts of others they see on social media and their own personal feelings. One student in California in a middle school was recruited for an LGBTQ club and was convinced by the teachers that she was transgender. While her parents supported her decision to change her name, she later returned to her old self and used her former name when no longer attending the club and under peer pressure. There is a strong and influential phenomenon that is very much present in the lives of young people. It's called social contagion. Dr. Erica Anderson is the former president of the U.S. Professional Association for Transgender Health. In an article for the San Francisco Examiner, she wrote, quote, in my opinion, over 40 years as a psychologist, I've seen psychotherapeutic phenomena come and go. Eating disorders, multiple personality disorders, and repressed memory syndrome have, in retrospect, spread through subgroups of adolescents and the professionals who have treated them. This spread is like wildfire through vulnerable underbrush, clearly born in an environment of contagion. How is it possible that gender identity formation constitutes the only area of development in adolescence that is immune from peer influence?" End quote. We need to protect children from making a choice they cannot reverse. Science shows that they do not have enough experience or brain development to make long-lasting decisions. Medical transition can cause serious harm during adolescent years, and the Help Not Harm bill will give vulnerable children who are questioning their identity the time they need to mature and make important life decisions.